Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is the latest edition of the Royal Take It. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and we're going to get into the Royal sweeping the Maine Mariners back to Maine and out of Reading, having a great OT win <clears throat> today, a good, a big win on Friday, and a great battle win on Saturday. But let's get right into it. As we start with, of course, the Friday game that was led by Trevor Gooch having two very good goals, and then Halsinger and Cooper playing great defensively to lead to Braden Lowe's goal, and then Dechara capping it off with an empty netter, where Darian Hansen was key and pivotal in the start of the game in his first professional game, and he played very swimmingly in. And then when we moved to Saturday... That was more of a back and forth, a battle. That was also a good, this whole weekend series was like great uh, preparer for the playoffs as well because the Royals are coming in 0-2 against Maine, then sweep them, win three straight games. They win in a great defensive game on Friday as they go up 3 nothing and then play great defensive hockey. They win in an offensive battle, a 5-3 battle, which you're going to have to do in the playoffs. And they win in a low goal scoring effort where it's tired legs, which you're going to obviously have in the postseason during seven potential seven gamers. And then they win that game by going to OT and being able to battle around a great chip play by Bykoff to be able to score there. So they won in all facets you want to see coming into the roundabout time of the season and rounding at the season, which wraps up next Saturday. And then the playoffs kick off, kick off on the 20th, excuse me, and the 22nd at Satander Arena. But Malatesta, one of the best in the biz. Connor Doherty, one of the best in the biz from the back end, were able to score in that game for the Maine Mariners. And then Leon was able to score for the Maine Mariners as well as he was the guy that got the goal today in the net front, was able to score for them in that game. But Tomas Ebbing, has another two-goal game. Brad Morrison comes back and didn't look like he missed a beat getting a goal in that game. After mention, Patrick Bykoff that won the game today got a key goal in yesterday's tilt on Saturday as well, which was the fourth goal of the game. And then you also have Patrick McNally, who is obviously the key great def- all-around defenseman that now is able to get rewarded on the tally sheet in that game as well, which was nice to see McNally uh, similar to how uh, Dechara, who always works his tail off, was able to get an empty netter. It was nice to see McNally be able to get an empty netter in Saturday's tilt. And then we'll wrap this video up talking about today's tilt, which was a game that definitely looked like a 3-3-er. Three and uh, The mm-hmm. first period for the Royals that wasn't really there. The second period really was there, a good back-and-forth battle. But the only guy that was able to get a goal was at the end of the second at the 1848 mark, which was Yeri Leone uh, being able to crash a good first save by Flodell. Nobody able to block out the net front. And then Leon scores. But then Trevor Gooch, that was an amazing steal by Trevor Gooch as he continues to have a season that he's performing like a bat out of hell. Came in, and I believe it was December he debuted, and now he has 33 goals, knocking that puck out of the air and then being able to get it past Jeremy Brodeur, which he couldn't really do anything about that. And then Jeremy Brodeur showed the anger, um, showed how competitive you are, and you can get angry when things don't go your way in games, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We saw Carter Hart do that, kind of the same reaction. You just sometimes show the competitiveness and slammed his stick. After Patrick Bykoff had the chip play, I think the Mariners thought it was offsides, but he had the chip play and then was able to score. Nonetheless, absolutely great play by Bykoff to be able to get through two defenders there, and really three because he got through two of them on the chip play, and then there was another defender back there that instead of having to deal with him, he just wired the shot and then scored, which is obviously one of Bykov's go-to things, one of the best snipers in the league. Now getting his 26th goal, which is no small feat. It doesn't matter. I don't care what any league it is. Getting 25 or up goals in professional league is a great feat, so congratulations to Bykov. And then Trevor Gooch has a chance to get 35 <clears throat> or up, which is an amazing feat in any league, so congratulations for him for getting his 33rd tally which was the clutch tying goal, was clutch Trevor Gooch tied it up. And then Bykoff, <clears throat> who never seems phased, always seems to step up in the biggest moment, does so again as he snipes one getting through the D there to be able to snipe one. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take, as the Reading Royals sweep the Maine Mariners back to Maine and out of Reading. Absolutely fantastic weekend of hockey by the Royals and by the guys that you really want to see coming into their own to round out this season here team getting hot at the right time and that's what you want to see they've been hot all season obviously with how good the team has been but exceptionally hot at the right time as you're rounding out the season playing great defensive hockey winning an offensive battle on Saturday and then winning a great game that was just a battle to the end that Gooch got the clutch goal and then you were able to see the energy after that even tick up even higher where the Royals were having a great third period as a whole but then when Gooch was able to get that the energy even ticked up another spear and then he was able to really just 
capitalize, you know, T. Patty Bykoff was as they just got going right at the beginning of that OT. It didn't even get a minute in, and the Royals won the game. So fantastic weekend of hockey. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please should subscribe down below to help us get to 215 or more, or 230 or more, excuse me, by the end of April to meet our goal. Peace out, everybody, and let's go Royals. Let's keep the winning going this week as we round out the season this Saturday. Peace out, everyone.